Hello everybody, and welcome to the final game in this lovely quadrilogy by Yahtzee here. Today we're going to be playing some Six Days of Sacrifice, the, the thrilling conclusion that somehow manages to... Well, to, well, yeah, I don't feel like updating all those tags. This game could be an ASCII ZZT game, no problem. Somebody feel free to do a port, but also... Hmm, we might want to find something more palatable. We're going to see how this finally ends and how it manages to actually wrap things up reasonably well, as far as I remember. I specifically remember most of this game being pretty whatever, except for the one absolutely wild part, and then I remember the ending sequence actually being pretty neat. We'll see if that's still the case. We've got this quiet, low drone of a title screen. This game is also slightly higher res, I think. Commentary, no thank you. Yesterday I saw the body of the Bridgekeeper engulfed in flame. When I saw the bridge created by one-third, tomorrow I saw the soul of the Bridgekeeper reduced to ash, and I saw the bridge created by two-thirds. Today, the mind of the Bridgekeeper shall meet with its destiny, and I shall see the bridge extend between the realms. And the many children of the king shall leap and dance and sing praise in his name, for great is his wisdom and his benevolence. So says the Book of the Bridge. Some fast text to start with. Okay, we're, we're immediately replaying. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. We're ending two games at once. Really... Really showing the difference between five days and seven days in terms of story. There's this cool scene where you resurrect a ghost and versus man in spacesuit throws thing into engine. Our little spaceman is just waiting. We need these to end simultaneously. Yeah, you know. Bridging the gap is... This, this game is all about building bridges. I hope that thing doesn't snag down there like the captain's keys did. Is this a strand game? Maybe. But this place? The answer is somewhere in the middle. Don't worry, the, the vertical bar will not be there forever. Look at this, it's telling us how to do things. We are unfortunately going back to the seven days interface. We're really jumping right into it, you know, the five days kind of at least explained who the heck we were. A magazine. Well, interact with it, please. Eyes. Okay. Some woman's magazine put here to help visitors pass the time, I guess. You know women and their magazines. Oh, okay, so it's not quite the same as Seven Days. It's just a bit similar. I guess we we right-click on our target. Do, will, we woo that? will we move automatically to it if I say pick up plant? Okay, so that's a step in the right direction. Anyways, we play as this charmer who's checking for cigarette butts in the plant. Computer. Here in the ophthalmology building. How do we do anything? There's nobody here. Okay, we're looking for Mr. Garriott. Ah, a pamphlet. Add it to the journal. Ooh, thank you, Ellipses, for like the five gift subs here. We're getting a lot of purple keys right now. Do a journal button? I 
Gotta wait for all my beeps and boops. Why'd that one not play a sound? Better it just got wildly out of sync. No, no. Never apologize for that. If I really wanted to, I could I could cap it, but like I think it's generally fun. Until the day comes when you show up and you're like, here's a hundred, then we'll have a problem, but if that's the case, I'm just gonna mute the stream or something. Life becoming a struggle? Need a guiding hand? Want to be part of the world's fastest growing family? Ophthalmology is a religion catered for you, taking the best parts of all previous religions to make a new, great new way of thinking. Why hasn't somebody done this? This seems perfect. Just take the good parts and get rid of the bad. Don't make the bad parts of the video game, only the good parts. This guy looks pretty optimistic. Or not. I'm from the county council. My name's DeCabe. I phoned you a week ago. I'm here to inspect your building. Be extending your premises without planning permission. Uh oh. Or an angry pencil pusher here. Gone from cat burglary to space to recovering occult artifacts to building inspection. All right, well, let's take a tour. Where's the... Okay. Good building. They just have that ready. Day one. July 24th, 2189. Told you I have no idea who he is. Why should you care? I'm a doctor, for God's sake. It's terribly convenient. You don't think if he was our agent, we would find a way to get him down here without smashing him to pieces. Anyways, falling down an elevator isn't a great way to start your day. Our neck is broken. Also, Trilby is here, maybe? Fan favorite Trilby? He's hanging out. He's long-lived. Can you hear me? Okay, we're alive. Our name? Theodore. And Samantha. And we got this jerk. Nobody gets to leave. We're once again trapped in a building. And this time it's Trilby's fault. I understandably can't move. Uh, the elevator shaft was had no elevator and they shoved us down there. So we're, we broke our neck and other bones. She's got some. We got Samantha the scientist here and guard. A tall and athletic man, physically in his early 30s, wearing absurdly old fashioned clothes. That's what we always say about people in fedoras. Well, maybe not the tall and athletic part. Oh, go away. 
don't like this interface. There we go. We'll just whisper. Fire. Points at me and I'm cutting her throat meaningfully. Mm. All right. Ah, privacy screen. Perfect. Okay. Why does she not know how to activate this? She's she's presumably a doctor. Why is she just listening to our every point? Console. Now what's going on behind that doors? We need a password. She shrugs. Well, okay, we can tell it's a touch screen. Got the bin for burning stuff. Got some really nice eyesight, though. Surprised there's no sound, but also it would probably be very annoying if this store was making a sound. All right, well, I'm just going to talk to you anyway. Talk to you about... Already stuck. How about you? Please. No. I need... This trilby guy. Kinda... He's, he's got me going erg, that's for sure. There we go. Trilly's gonna figure this out. He's good with these things. Okay. Oh. Trilly has given up. No problems. We're fine. Let's try this again. We gotta distract Trilby with our horrible body. What does it want me to do here? Specifically. Oh, I'm sorry. Got the wrong paper. I just have to pickpocket this man. Maybe not. Use the guard to get a piece of paper. We're off to an exciting start here today. Oh, I've got a cell phone. That's good, at least. And the guard leans over Theo, use the guard to get a piece of paper. Why is this not helping? Is there a paper on him specifically? I've got the old Let's Play open too because I wanted a, a reminder for the scene that I want to cover up. 
when it happens. Why can't I eyeball him now? Gets urged. Uh, there's nothing. Well, this is going to be a tough one. Why is this not working? This is horrible, sorry. Oh, okay, that time it worked. I don't know why it worked that time. We've successfully pickpocketed a man with in this condition and with him watching us very distinctly. So I guess we have some skills. Arguably, we're as good as thieving as Trilby is at this point. Oh, let me look at my stuff. Ooh. Hello? Oh, we got a dedicated button here. We got an about. Alright, all the information one could need. Got a lobby pamphlet. Okay, yeah. We learned all about ophthalmology. Got a phone. All the police. No signal. That kind of tracks. Alright, have paper. Surely the paper says password. What was I doing to... Points at the privacy screen and at the door in the north wall. Privacy screen, please. There you go. See? That's how you know it's a privacy screen. <laughs> Can't see, but there's only one, one way out of there. Now we've got some privacy, as as clearly indicated on the, the holographic wall, which just says privacy on it. Privacy. Oh. This guy. Don't look. Don't look. Does that also block sound? Anyways, Trilby is dead. And we're free. Ish. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I'm not here to rescue you. I am here to inspect the building, so I'm going to get right on that, if you don't mind. Right, he fell down. We're in the underground laboratory complex. Ophthalmology is a front, a money-making, crowd-pleasing facade to disguise the true organization, which is a cult. Hey, it's the Order of Blessed Agonies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We all knew this. Why do they have a lab, though? Why are you sent to inspect the building? Police told us they received a tip. Cultists were building something. So they didn't have planning permission, I had to see if there was any truth to it. Seems there was. This complex isn't documented in any of our records. Alright, we've got more characters still. Summoned by Janine, I guess. The other prisoner. Small crowd today. Only, only three of us. I guess it was four, but Trilby's already dead, so. Or maybe, maybe the tall man is going to be a regular. Who knows? Man, the hat is just a mercenary hired to guard the place. 
Our captor is still around somewhere. She and I only just escaped from our cell this morning. We were looking for a way out when you arrived. I dragged you here. Guard found me. We've got to call the police. But we can't. That's, that's the way it goes. We're going to get them on tax evasion. Janine's looking for some weapons. I don't... I don't know if we're the dude who should be looking for somebody right now. Oh, what happened to the guard? Find Janine. One of the cult Once the cultist is our hostage, I will have time to answer all your questions. Okay, so that's our plan. We're gonna turn tables. Go. We're we're doing okay. Too technical to operate that touch screen. Alright, we gotta see what's the burn paper all about. Well, let me read it. With my eyes, not my hands. Also, yes, we do have music. Let me turn it down a little bit for my voice. Let me know if this is okay for me to be talking over without being completely drowned out by the music. Add it to my journal. Alright. Our preparations are complete. Feel free to evacuate yourself and your staff when you have finished burning your records, but make sure Canning and the prisoners remain. Our master will also remain and make his own arrangements. I will evacuate last when I have given the building and complex a final inspect. Yeah, you missed the, the cool theme. Hmm, the box room. This looks like a good box. Alright, so this is our hub for this one, and I hate it so much. Is this our other door? Okay, so that was the way out. Through the bloodstained door. What do you mean you don't see anything interesting? I mean, I said look bloodstained. Oh, spectacles. Please, give me the magic pixel. I guess those are my glasses, and I've just got a lens now. Samantha, how's that great work doing? She is literally just standing here. Yeah, the rooms are kind of labeled, at least. This is the, the lock room? Ah. Handwritten memo. Ensure that the prisoners remain sealed in the holding cell for at least six days. After this, it will no longer matter. Do not fail, Candy. This is your chance to redeem yourself for the crime of allowing the Orzachowski woman to explore the complex unsupervised. Is that Janine? The bedroom? Locked. Does this wrap? I seem to remember this wrapping. Yeah, okay, so this is, there we go. There's our lady. Oh, why does it put me on the left side of the screen, though? Big door. Central hub, authorized personnel only. Last door. Darn button. So I could keep going this way. 
See, at least I don't... I don't feel like I can criticize Theo's walking speed. That makes sense. I wish... Yahtzee didn't make it so he walked this slow. Camera room. Nothing but snow. Everything's a touchscreen in the future. The iPhone was big when this game came out. Maybe. So I can't figure this out. Oh boy, a fuse box. Oh, I'm sorry, an antique fuse box. That's a lot of locked doors and a lot of land rooms. Just like seven days. Alright, I think, yes, yeah, so that's the, yeah, this is the box room. So we've gone full circle. Can't even try to interact with the elevator. Okay, so where'd she go? Skip a door. Camera room. This was locked. We were locked. The security lock. Oh, the pacing on this one. And I never know the order of my doors well enough to know which direction is faster. Okay, she's here. Wasn't this locked? I feel like we haven't been in a bedroom yet. Here's, I am not a cultist. I... Look at me. Threw me down an elevator shaft. I'm at 5 a.m. already. Alright, what kind of weapons are we dealing with? Ooh, we got something. That's true. Well, this cult needs to take better care of its own if they have Theo running around as a cultist. We got the message. Take the guns to Dr. Hardy. Get out of here. Nobody in these games ever wants to go anywhere. What'd we get? Guns. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Use guns on Samantha. Okay, talk to her. Yeah, I got the guns. Samantha. Guns. Thank you. Now we have the upper hand. The cultist is just through this door. All we have to do is secure him in the holding cell, and then we can negotiate our release. Will Janine be joining us? He's too scared. I mean, I guess we only have two guns.
right, we got him. Uh oh. Is Hardy with the cult? I guess formerly. Lots of betrayal, not a lot of sacrifice. Trilby's back with gun. This has gone poorly. They have God on their side. Ah, Trilby's dead. Thank you, caretaker. Thank you, guide. Oh, they're not dead. They are only unconscious and will awaken soon. Go to the sleeping quarters and seal yourselves in. It's not wise to roam this place at night. But who are you? A friend. I'll go. Sorry, Janine. They overpowered us. When are they going to send help? They did. They sent a building inspector. That's me. Council planning inspector. See? Call answered. I'm here. It's almost laughable. There's no way we're getting out of here. I'm going to overpower canning and make him escort us out. Okay, she's not giving up at least. But nobody likes Theo, apparently. Who is still very, very, very confused here. I fell down an elevator shaft this morning. I'm tired. I'm in pain. I don't know where I am. All you've done is boss me around and evade my questions. What a mood. I don't know who the hell you people are and what the hell is going on. Alright, let's get some information. No need to shout. What do we, what do we need to know here? What is this place? Small lab complex under the ophthalmology building. Front for the Order of Blessed Agonies. Circle. And I got something important inside. Nobody's seen it. Oh no, more dialogue replacements. Order of Blessed Agonies. Seeing Cole, Paisley answered everything. They're very creative in the ways they inflict pain upon each other. They worship some mad demon god called Chuzo, or something. I'd never even heard of them. I had heard of ophthalmology, but with all the celebrities that I remember. Ophthalmology is just the money maker. It runs the true organization, the Order. They hide behind the acceptable front to keep themselves secret. Saying you want to hurt people to purify them causes a lot of concern for the authorities. Oh, another replacement. Where are they? The Hat Man. So everybody's leaving. Dr. Samantha Hardy, a scientist. Tell you what kind, but I fear it would go over your head. Shut up. My name is Janine Orzachowski. A freelance journalist for a couple of magazines. Damn, they still got magazines in the future? Mainly celebrity gossip stuff. I guess that's not going away anytime soon. What did you get here? Janine Janowski, oh no. All right. Celebrities love this new religion. Yeah, 
thrown into jail. He's been working. She's a contractor, you see. They don't want anyone to know about the stuff they're doing here. Guess she found out too much. I guess so. Client confidentiality. How honorable. Work I'm not proud of, which will probably reflect poorly on me once this is all over. I'd rather take steps to ensure that it doesn't get out now rather than regret it later. Please don't press the matter. Escape from the cell, and you dropped in, and that's all we know. Why are we here? Protect a secret, but we're needed. Who's canning? Need the leader? God, no. Before the others evacuate, he answered to a guy named Garriott. And even seemed to be subordinate to someone they call the Prince. I don't think I've ever seen him. Canning is just some low-level acolyte ordered to make sure we don't escape. Personally, I think he's just as much a prisoner down here as we are. I think they wanted to get rid of him for some reason. But he's too dense to notice. He's still following orders like a faith-blinded sheep. Who is the man in the hat? I think he's just some mercenary hired to act as a security guard. Oh, okay. She knows who Trilby is. <laughs> you know, Trilby. The dashing gentleman thief from those old horror movie serials. The Defoe Manor murders. Hotel horror. In this world, Trilby is Five Nights at Freddy's, I think. They say Trilby may have really existed. I read some newspapers from around the late 20th century. I feel like Janine is definitely into the fandom. Also, I don't feel like it's only been like a century and like they've got these newspaper records and they made movies and all this stuff like I think it's wild that she would happen to know who Trilby is, but I don't think it I don't think he should be like a mythical figure. Who's the red guy? He's new. You know, bald man, torn red robe. Helped us get away. Use magic, I guess. So now what? Now we think of a way to... Oh. This door's been sealed with a time lock. I won't be able to open it until tomorrow morning. Thank you, man in red. Man in red told us not to roam the hallway at night. Presumably he has taken steps to ensure this. Crying out loud. I have to get home. I have to get back at work. I have to go to work. Whining like a child is not going to help. Damn. Let's take a nap. Yeah, historically, but like... And I hope, th I hope the record doesn't get so tarnished. All right, I haven't saved at all yet. So, love of God, let me do that. I don't remember how often you can die in this one. Weird lock. All kinds of locks. Time locks, weird locks, super locks. How are the beds? Don't appear to have been designed with comfort in mind at all. Or are we heading for the midpoint? I guess we're heading for the midpoint of the midpoint. Just 
Um, yeah, who, what? Not going to hurt you. Your mother around? Or your father? My god, your eyes. What happened to your eyes? Ah. 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 Back to his old tricks. Anybody else have any fucked up dreams last night? Doors open. I once again take Canning hostage. If at first you don't succeed. The store is being guarded by the Trilby Guard. Be your task to distract them. We're not very good at threatening people. Do we still have our guns? Lower the guard away from the main corridor, giving her the chance to slip in. We'll just use our cell phones. Do you have a cell phone? Of course. Can't reach the outside world, but we should be able to make calls within the complex. I'm excited for these future phones. Call when you've achieved your objective, or if there are points you wish to discuss. That also function as just like shortwave radios or something, I guess. Ange needs number. Oh boy. Oh boy. Make sure she gave us the real number. Wow, I guess we can talk to her anywhere. Uh, okay, that's not true. Tell, yeah, how bad is this? What's going on? My neck broke on impact. I could have very easily died, which tracks. I don't know how long our how big our fall was, but on the left side, so left elbow and humerus are shattered, as is your left kneecap. Fracture in your skull. I don't... Would we be able to walk around like this? I feel like it would take a... I feel like that would be quite the challenge. She's not gonna tell us anything fun. Why are you so secretive? can get out of this situation alive. Get it? She's an optimist. What kind of scientist are you? Tell me the truth. She is... a biochemist. Okay. I mean, I don't know much about biochemistry, but I'm not shocked at the, that term. Oh, cool. Great. Damn. 2189 and you got fired for ethics violations. The corporation said, no, what you were doing is just wrong. Incredible. Man in red, no idea. There's Janine. In the kitchen. Good enough. Call Janine. What do we should do now? Ask Sam. Okay. You take help us take Canning hostage. No. Who are you so afraid of? Him. The one who's out there. Two weeks ago, I found this place and sent the tip straight to the police. Minutes later, they caught me and threw me in the cell. I was expecting them to send a SWAT team. Real life doesn't work like that. They can't send in the guns just because an anonymous person says there's an unregistered basement extension. Sending a building inspector was pretty much all that they could have done legally. I'm sorry.
You aren't the one who pushed me down an elevator shaft. Ooh, I like having this conversation right in front of Dr. Hardy. What do you make of Dr. Hardy? Probably don't know much more than you do. It was 2007. I was... I would have been this optimistic about cops back then. I'm, I'm sure I would have thought... I'm sure they'd love to send in the SWAT team. Actually, I'd think that now, that they would love to send in the SWAT team, actually. Okay. Tell me about Trilby. People are always saying this. Oh, well. He was in the movies. Rare old newspapers. Cat Burler. The original ma He invented... Finally arrested around the mid-1990s. This man invented thievery. Joined some secret government agency. And they encouraged the novelist to fictionalize Trilby so that people would eventually forget he was ever real. I'll tell you something else. There's a photograph in the newspaper. That guy out there, Canning's guard, looks exactly like the real Trilby. Think he'd be the same guy? Of course not. He'd be over 200 years old by now. But the resemblance is really creepy. Shared nightmares? Better get used to it. There's something about this place. Something in the air, maybe. But I haven't slept well since day one. There's this little kid in a welding mask. Welding mask? Yep, we're all dreaming of welding masks. Once again. Granny still hung- alright. She's got psychic powers. Book. Cold as night timer. What's the book? Twice did the 20th day of the seventh month pass, and the prince gazed with great concern upon the land of technology as the carving of the slave passed through the hands of a great many ignorant men of technology, but the king would not let him take his vengeance. For he said, the guide seeks the carving of the slave, and it is through this desire he shall fulfill his destiny. It will not be long before the guide learns that his duty has not yet been completed, and then he shall do as I have foreseen. And as the king said it, so was it so. For the bridge keeper did touch one of the ignorant men, and by their conjoined hands was the thief wife thrown down, and truly did she know the name of the king. The thief wife. And with this act, the guide said, I see you know, bridge keeper. Is that supposed to be now? I see you now, bridge keeper? I think so. I have found you, and I have not forgotten. And he came to the tree that was the prince's soul, for it was here that the carving of the slave had been brought. I don't think so. Trilby's not, like, Trilby wasn't married to her. And he didn't really seem super interested in Siobhan either at the end of Notes. I, I mean, I guess they did say, hey, there's bound to be some inaccuracies in these prophecies. Or maybe it's yet another retcon. Yeah, that tracks. This is just gonna be. Oh, oh we got just have fridge and microwave, no air fryer. Okay, yeah, so we did have our conversation with her already. So the cultists actually eat, that's actually reassuring. Ooh, there's a note on the fridge. Will we add it to our journal? No. Yes. The Book of Prayers. The body is the physical form, and is the sum of what time has made it to be, and so it is of the past. And the mind is sharp and logical, and it concerns itself with the here and now, and so it is of the present. The soul is love and hope, and is the dreams of what is to come, and so it is of the future. Body, mind, soul. Past, present, future. We give thanks for them all in the name of the king. We cannot open the fridge. We're still not gonna learn how we eat. Prayer rug?
Yes, sir. some more. Well, I don't really have any hints for what the heck that should be, so... Let's commence wandering. Oh, hey! Oh, no. He got me. And now I go to jail. see about your friends soon enough. Ah. The red man. Oh. That's new. Ancient skeleton. Dressed in the remnants of an anorak. There's a huge hole in the back of its skull. Also, a disturbance. A manifestation. Oh, okay, we're not touching none of this. Is that? Ah! The other man. The hotel. Well. Okay, so. Good news. We've gotten Trilby away from the door. <laughs> Dr. Hardy? I... He, I got him away from the door. I am quite sure. Yeah, you don't want to start with this one. Really, you don't want to start with any but the first, because the second one is just the worst. Even though you kind of could get away with it to some extent. I don't know. You're really in for the whole ride. Also, reality is shifting again, I guess. Kind of? It's not really going in and out, it's just kind of a blur. Does she see this? Is she aware? Alright, I guess we do still have our guns. Guard's dead, by the way. Because of me. You killed him? I led him to a monster. I tore him to shreds. It couldn't have been helped, anyway. And died because of my actions. He does not agonize over every little thing. I guess this is in character with her, with her great ethics. Alright, let's get this over with. Again, Dr. Hardy? Are you tired of this yet? Your pet card won't be able to help you this time, Canning. My pet? I would say he was as much yours as mine, wouldn't you? Shut up. Has she told you about the work she was doing for us, sir? Uh... Said, Shut up. Get moving. No funny business, or you get a bullet in the leg to help you along. All right, we've got our different man in red. Build the beans. 
help us make sense of all this. How do we call the elevator? That's good. You don't. The one in the main corridor can only be called from an upper floor by a high-ranking yacht club. Cool. Looks like we'll have to get used to each other, my dear. Got to be another way up. Oh, there it is. It's in the hub. But you'll never get past the security locks to open the blast doors. You will. Because you're going to tell us how. Oh, this is loud. You're trying so hard to do it like they do in the action movies, aren't you? Like those old Trilby films. What are you going to do? Torture me? You really think I, an acolyte of the Order of Blessed Agonies, would be scared of pain? I've done to myself far worse things than you can dream of. Now. Now we have to open the hub security door. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Feel free to question the prisoner. Hell yeah, tell me. Tell me all the good stuff. You don't trust her. She saved my life. And yet you don't trust her. You wonder what it is she's hiding, do you not? You understand so little. Looks like you failed, old man. Heart's dead. Really? Doesn't that bother you? Should it? Do you even understand the situation? Of course. I don't think you do, though. If you did, you'd know that my guard's condition may not be as permanent as you believe. Abandoned by the order. Complex is evacuated. Building on the surface is too... rubbish. The facility was too expensive to simply abandon as soon as work was complete. My brethren will return. Tell me about the cult. The deal. Order of Blessed Agnes has existed for centuries. We believe in the true way to purification. Purification through suffering. We practice the blessed agonies of the mind, body, and soul to wash ourselves of sin. And one day... We've got some big agenda. Okay. Gonna take over the world? Some Saturday morning cartoon villain? Oh, I missed that. Something about nothing. What are these agonies? Thinking of applying? Hell yeah, tell me. Tell me all your secrets. Alright, all three aspects of themselves must experience blessed agony. Body, physical pain, beating, burning, cutting. Mind, boredom, fear, insanity. Soul, which is more refined. It's about destroying someone or something the subject loves utterly, relies upon emotionally. And you do all this to yourself again and again? The agony of the soul can only be experienced once. But apart from that, you are correct. He's, he's at peace. Same utter contentment that comes with the knowledge that you are of absolute purity. Alright, well, maybe we shouldn't have brought it up. Why are we here? Check the secret that this complex exists. Why won't they kill us? I would have had I received the order. Okay. Alright, spill the beans. Damn. Alright, no spoilers. How about the red guy? Who? Bald man, red robe. One of your people. Completely clueless. Didn't he get like knocked out by him? He should at least see that part. All the allies of Shizou take very good care of their robes. As for the the man in black, 
I see you've met the prince. You should consider yourself lucky. Hmm. Okay. So we're not getting much out of this then. Our interrogation hasn't revealed too much, really. Whatever. Goodbye. Oop, no. Enter. Ah, okay. <clears throat> now we get to solve this this challenging lock. A U O I. Okay, so vowels. Folks, <laughs> please don't, <laughs> please don't set your password to open on your safe. Ta-da! What's inside? A shirt. Uh, give me, let me look. Look clothes. Oh, a key card. No, hang on, that that's a little more important. Mm. Oh, that's like the dance. Okay, so into the office. We're on camera. Any exciting documents? The password is open. I mean, I guess it's because, like, it literally is just, hey, player, figure this out. But at the same time, I guess body, mind, or soul would have also been, you know, fitting, giving the interrogation stuff. Somewhat more respectable of a password. We live in the universe of technology, or the scientific realm, where magic is very sparse. Our shadow is the universe of magic, or ethereal realm, where magic and magical creatures are abundant. Or yeah, so, there's, there's a lot of good four-letter words, actually. In olden times, it was easier for entities to travel between the realms, hence the old stories of fantastic creatures. The druid Kabadath, circa 55 BC, created a bridging portal quite easily using a comparatively simple ritual. Since then, however, the background level of magic in the scientific realm has faded, and a ritual much larger in scope is required to transport any entity from one realm to the other. The ritual calls for the creation and sacrifice of a bridge. A living creature with ties to both realms, usually an entity born in the scientific realm, but later having their aspects imbued with magic. When all three of the bridge's aspects, body, mind, and soul, are annihilated in conjunction, in conjunction, echoes of weakness ripple through the membrane between the realms, and a portal can be opened. Exactly how long the portal remains open depends on the puissance of the bridge. That's a five dollar word. Oh boy, a series of numbers. Hmm, maybe not. Computer? Release level one security. Perfect. Level two? No. This is just. I love that this is exactly a ZZT computer interface. Cycle the ventilators. All right. Reset the thermostat. We did it. That's it. They really need like a fan, like the base symbol is fine. They really need better depictions of it. It's impossible to look at this and not just be like, yeah, you, you drew your cult logo in MS Paint. I think you can make a more menacing image. 
Yes, maybe not. Ah, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Security room. <laughs> Everything else is just a complete waste of time, and it takes so long to get anywhere, I'm, I'm really just following this walkthrough. Current input. Uh, well, that didn't tell me anything. Camera. Ooh, restricted. Oh, that restricted. I hate that he gets in the way, so I can't continue to interact with this. What did it say? Did it say four? Use the touch screen. Isn't that just the office we were at? Yeah. Review input. Okay. Old footage. Something written on the notepad of the corner. Oh, I guess maybe that was torn out. All right, we got our we got ourselves a puzzle of using our glasses. There we go. Seven seven five nine. I don't think I need to actually write this down, but just in case. But, like, the rest of this game's graphics are clearly, like, these circles and stuff. I'm like, I don't think he was using MS Paint. He was using a, a better graphics program for this. He understands the vague concept of lighting, shading, detail, like... This little console looks fine. Little shadow, like, looks okay. And yet... The posters, not so much. What is this? No, not where I'm going. Still, still a bit of a pain with these these edges. Oop, goodbye, game. All right, she's hard at work as always. All right, what do we got? We got. Yeah, I mean, I did see the man right again. He knows the or security codes. No, I think he just teleported me. That's absurd. We can teleport people at will. Why does he not teleport us out of the complex altogether? If what you say is true, it raises many unsettling questions. I fear this man has his own agenda, and probably not a benevolent one. But he set me free. Also, I saw a monster. Calm down. What did you see? The stick man. God, I wish this game described him as slender. Blood. Pull yourself together. But the monster. Whatever you think you saw, it's gone now. You're safe. All right, well, I've... Yeah. Well, let's worry about Janine for a little bit, though. Why? Jesus, calm down, lady. Yeah. Yeah, she's not coping with this well. That's not too shocking. Alright, I found the, the cool stuff. We've got a key card and we've got a passcode. 
This one was the passcode side. I guess we are going to have to type it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a wheel. So really, all we needed to do is to get through this little cover. Which I'm not saying would be easy. But it doesn't sound impossible. That's right, we're a bureaucrat. I think we both need to turn the wheels simultaneously. Can you manage? No. Hmm, well, leave it to me. I'll you stand here. I mean I guess if I'm just making a phone call. Hey Janine? We need you here, at this point, actually. Oh. I don't think I could. You have to, Janine. You're the only one who can help. We'll just get it open, then we can get out. I know, but what if I run into him? Look, there's no one else around. Canning is in the cell. His guard is dead. Again. Aside from us three, nothing else is moving, I'm certain. Come on now, this is our ticket out. Oh, okay. I'll be there soon. Let's go. A big reveal. What's in the garage? Ah. Doesn't look like an elevator. I mean, it wouldn't be. I really don't think it would. All right, Dr. Hardy, what do you got? What's inside the dark, scary room? You trust her? You? I would if she gave me any reason to. I know what you mean. But right now, she seems like our best hope of getting out of here. Even so, there's got to be a reason why she doesn't want us to know about our work. I'm not sure we should trust her to go in there alone. Hey, after you, man. Oh, oh she's back. That's good. Dr. Hardy, welcome back. Ah. <laughs> Aren't you going to say something? I can't think of anything. I can't. <laughs> We're going to die down here. Don't say that. We're not going to die. We can get back into the hub. You don't get it. You won't let us out. You won't let me out. You have to stop him. What are you talking about? I see you. I see what you are. You're the one who did this to me. I didn't do anything to you. Why won't you stop him? How many times do you have to kill him? Janine, you're not making any sense. You're mistaking me for someone else. Mr. DeCobb? Yes, I'm sorry, I... Leave me alone. I wouldn't go out there if I were you. Night has fallen. The prince is on patrol. About Janine. She is in no danger. At least, not from him. Remain here until morning. Who you are? Are you with the cult? My identity is meaningless. I am just an avatar. And I have no allegiances. Alright, please get us out. It'll go badly for you if you don't. Gonna be some serious police action after this, I promise you. Cannot do that. Because that is not how it goes. You seem very confident that you will escape from this place. Of course I am. 
Why? Because if I wasn't, I'd go insane. If I resist. What an asshole. Actually, gonna run a quick ad break so I can get some water. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, Samantha's dead. And we'll never know what it was she was doing, apparently. But we're promising to give her a proper funeral, at least. I don't remember which of these was like out, out. Ah. Ah, well. Why am I here? Doppelganger. The faker has been fat on boat. Hmm. Sleep. Day three. Not doing a good job with sleeps here. Okay, new plan. Research. Just like the first game, it's time to go to the library, I think. Oh, also, we... Kirby's Notes had, like, one room where it had 287 written on the walls, and I didn't understand what that meant. That's... July 28th, that's like the day when the prince gets to kill people. Um. Hey, Trilby. Who are you? Could you tell me where I am? You're, you're dead. I saw you die, dead. Yes, I remember being dead, but I don't remember you. Your, your guts were torn out. My well, blood's still on the floor. Honestly? Huh. Perhaps it's best that I don't remember. So where am I? Are you going to answer my questions anytime soon? Trilby, everybody. Alright, he seems a bit friendlier today, though. Who are you? My name is Trilby. That much I know. Even that sole fact isn't sufficient, though. I get the feeling I have, or had, other names in the past. Trilby the Cat Burglar? Cat Burglar? Yes, that was one of my names. You can't possibly be Trilby. Nevertheless, I'm certain that Trilby is my name. But Trilby died hundreds of years ago. And I already told you, but I got better. So your statement only further reinforces my claim. Hmm, okay. How'd you come back to life? I don't know. You do realize that resurrection is completely impossible, right? I thought I knew it. Recent events are forcing me to reassess this, however. All I know is that I was dead, and now I am alive again. Refusing to believe this will not answer my questions. Working for the Order. Order? Agonies? I remember something. 
I get a name. John Defoe. He's important in some way. In fact, I think I spent many years researching him. Never heard that name. Don't remember why you were working for the Order? Afraid not. What do you remember? A few flashes, images and sounds, no dates and details. I remember John Defoe. And that's about it. Standing on a hill, watching something burn. My hands covered in blood. Then a place that was two places at once. Lying on something hard, my stomach really hurts and someone is talking to me. So it's mostly a fog up until the moment I woke up here. So you woke up here? Well, not right here. I just felt myself gravitate to this spot. Like something important happened here. Yes, this is where you died. I suppose that would explain it. Alright, maybe you should look around where you woke up. Alright, good news everybody, Trilby's our friend now. Just as we've always dreamed. The blood, all right. Well, that's new. Hmm. I see what's been going on in here. Only one file left on this hard drive. Clambron, when a hotel incident took the soul of the bridgekeeper from us and delayed the coming of the king for hundreds of years, but at the same time it brought the prince to us, with the solution already in hand. The prophecy in the books of Trizo demands that the, the guide assists the creation of the bridge. Obviously, he could not do that if he was long since dead of old age. It's a really good computer. It's actually just a word processor. But the sample of his blood provided by the prince was enough to ensure that the guide would exist for more than long enough to fulfill his destiny. Bridge. Blood, plasma, petri dishes, all that good stuff. That's right, he's a cool cat burglar who doesn't show emotions. How are the cylinders doing? How's Cylinder D doing? There's someone in there with skin as white as alabaster. I can't make out any features. I don't think they have any. Hey, Trilby. Anything coming back? No, nothing from this room. Or I think of that, that name, John Defoe. Like there's something scrabbing, scrabbling at the back of my mind. I feel I'm on the verge of rediscovering something terrible. Something that almost destroyed me. What is this place? No idea. I just woke up here. Are these people? What year is it? Okay, Trilby's figuring things out. It's 2189. Oh. Can't remember what year it was the last time I checked. But I'm pretty sure I've lost a century or two somewhere along the way. This complex is dangerous. The ghost. It's killed you also. Where are we going? All the answers I seek are here. I just have to find them. You could be killed. Death didn't stop me last time, apparently. He's so cool, everybody. What you say is true. You're the one who should be worrying. All right. Can you open the door for me? I do need a dude with two good hands currently, but apparently not. All right, so we gotta get Trilby's memories back. Ooh, ha-ha. 
Wait, he's wearing his hat. Do they just have a, a cache of fedoras? Please let me look at the hat. I just want to look at the hat. Awfully familiar. Give me the hat. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't, but... Ooh, more religious books? Those are good, too. Five. At this time, another came to the tree. That was the prince's soul, and this other was of the faith, but blinded by pride. And so he was the prideful acolyte. When the prideful acolyte threw down the guide, and subjecting the guide to the blessed agony of the body, he called forth the prince, and the prince crossed over to the land of technology. And the prince was much displeased, for the prideful acolyte would, in his arrogance, interfere with the destiny of the guide. And so he threw down the prideful acolyte, and the prideful acolyte became the puppet, and knew the name of the king. And with great fear did the guide take up the soul of the bridgekeeper, immune to its influence, for the bridgekeeper was also grateful, greatly fearful. And he hid the soul of the bridgekeeper away, to a place where it would meet its final destiny. And the prince and the puppet took their message to the Order of Blessed Agonies. Can we actually be like, hey, well, I guess we'd have no reason to put two and two together that this is talking about Trilby. Oh, whim. No? Okay, he doesn't care. Let's get out of here, then. I think we actually want to zip around this time. I hate that I walk into this little part of the wall that shuts out. Also, what it's apparently trying to do that it does a terrible job of with me exiting from the right and going to the right is this is supposed to be like a circle and the blast door is like leads to the inside of the circle. It's a ring around a circle is the halls that we're wandering. So the camera flips around to show the other side so we can see this door, but it doesn't communicate that at all. And so it's really awkward and bad. All right, Samantha died. So it goes. Theo, please stop walking into walls. Come on, one more pixel left, buddy. You can do it. Yeah. Ah, good. Okay, well, that's where Janine... How's Janine doing? How's Samantha doing? Samantha's phone is apparently on. CD. Who is this? Two. Sev. Hour. One. What? I can't... They hung up. How about Janine? Where are you? Sleeping quarters? Don't tell me to come out. I don't understand anything that's happening. Don't remember how I got here. You alright? Yes? No? No? No. Sam is dead. I think I'm going mad. Why do you say that? I remember Sam dying. I remember talking to her in the medical bay. I remember taking her to the med bay. Then everything goes blank. I'm scared. Something happened last night. You were there? What did I do? You were acting odd. Like you were someone else. And you were talking to me like I was someone else. Oh god. Do I remember? I remember talking to you. But it wasn't me. It was like looking through the eye holes of a mask. And I knew the thing I was... It makes me feel so sick. I'm outside. It's fine out here, look. Please, Janine. 
There's something out there. It's going to kill us both. You'll never escape from the complex. I don't care. I'd rather starve in here than die like Sam did. Can't you leave me alone? Because I need you to get the hub open. That's your strategy? It's our only way out. The reason behind this whole mess, it's in the hub. I can feel it. It's like I'm being drawn to it. Sam was murdered when she went in there. I know. All the more reason to see what's important enough to kill for. You're insane. And you're on your own. What if I found out for certain what was inside? Would you help me get in there? If it was safe. It would have to be really, really safe. Like a petting zoo or equivalent. That's a good line. Good job, Yahtzee. You, you did it. You, you had a good line. Any changes out in the halls here? No. Don't see it transforming? Doing some kind of dungeon, you know, brick walls, blood, dirt. What are you talking about? Isn't it always like that? Ooh. You coming out? No. Okay, well. Uh, actually, we want door number two today. Oh my god, I... No. It takes so long for it to actually close when you click that I think I need to click again. Oh man, you're still here? Second. Oh, I lost my place. Okay. This is indeed the correct place. Your guard seems to be alive again. So you think he rose from the grave? I don't know what to think. Thinking is something you need to do more of, boy. He doesn't remember working for you. Of course not. He never does. Were I not trapped in here, I would have been able to give him his usual instructions. How many times have you had to do that? Your questions bore me. Come back if you ever figure anything out. Uh, Hardy's dead. Reap what ye sow. Doesn't that bother you in the slightest? You and your whole insane order are accessories to murder, and I'm going to tell the cops about this. See? Your words are like the warbles of a sparrow. Oh, I'm sorry that we, we just got bird clocked like 30 seconds before that line. Alright, they got divine protection. They don't care. What do you mean protection? Guiding hand of God. The king, Chizo. And when he enters this world... Alright. You were allowing her to fill, fulfill her chosen role. Field of biochemistry. Who can ask for anything more? No dogma, please. This is a no dogma stream. Freedom is too small a reward for such betrayal. You are just a wretched man. You can barely stand on your own legs. I have the ear of the king. It's in the hub. Very little. Very little of anything corporeal, anyway. It means that most standard scientific tests would indicate that the hub is largely empty. And what is in there has absolutely no purpose. But we, the followers of the true way, know different. What's... what's... What is this for? We still don't know very much, I guess. You know I'm not going to answer that. No, and I know why. It's because you don't know, do you? Get him. You're just as much a patsy in this as we are. Mm -hmm. 
All right, he's happy to be down here. All right, we're going dungeon mode. I've been stuck in here this whole time. They say it changes before your very eyes. Are you hearing voices too? How about John Defoe? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. John Defoe is the bridge keeper. It is through him that the king will enter our world. Where is he? He's all around us. And again, he's also drifting off somewhere in deep space. There is no straight answer to your question. Why do you ask it anyway? Trilby told me the name. It is about the only thing he remembers. Mere words will not fully restore a lost memory. Picture does a better job. I'll tell you what. If you can figure out by yourself what work Dr. Hardy was doing for us, I'll help you. I feel like we should have pieced this together. Okay, good. I figured out what Dr. Hardy was doing. I think she was a cloner. You had her creating multiple copies of Trilby. And when I thought I saw him come back to life, it was just a different clone. Congratulations! Now the more complex question. Why? What would we need clones of this particular individual for? I don't know. You don't know anything about the Defoe Manor incident? You haven't even seen the hit movie? Hmm. Forget it then. Alright, you wanted to know what could jog his memory? Here is my advice. A newborn often reacts positively to an image of its mother. That's all you can give me. That's all I intend to give you. I'm not your personal advisor, boy. Actually, I think the... the open vault... I think the clothes inside were supposed to be Trilby clothes. Alright, what do I gotta do here next, then? This walkthrough doesn't say go to the X room, it says the fourth door from the left. And I have no idea how many doors down I already am. Alright, so Samantha counts as Trilby's mom now. I guess. But it's missing. Oh, man. 287. You know, clone magic, I guess. Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess I don't have to... It's telling me to have this conversation here. Hey, do you have Dr. Hardy's ID card? I just wanted to remember her in some way, I guess. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Can I borrow it? I'm not coming out. Could you just open the door a second to pass it to me? No. Anything could get in. Okay. Hmm. Talk to you later. Walk east of the hall. God, I hate that stupid pixel. Just... Hmm. Return to the clone room. 
was saying to give the ID card to Trilby, but I don't have the ID card. She refuses to give me the ID card. Oh, ah, okay. There, this walkthrough is overlooking something. Okay, we need to go to the security camera room once again. Also, these little symbols just get like harder to see as it becomes more dungeony. Which room are you? Are you the camera room? I can't tell what that symbol is. That's the office. That looks like the medical bay. Nope. Way off. That's the beds. Cool. I went the wrong way. I don't think that's the security room. What is this room? Oh, this is the boxes, yeah. You the security room? The thrilling gameplay. There we go. Camera number five. Um... Oh, it's four digits. Two, seven, four, one. Two, seven, four, one. Thank you, ghost. Some kind of wide circular chamber viewed from above. This must be the hub. From the looks of it, there's nothing in it but the remains of some old ruined building. Download to my phone. Hell yeah. Do I ring her up now? Okay, I've seen what's inside the hub. Got the image on my phone. Sending it to you now. See? Not scary. It's some old ruin. Whatever killed Dr. Hardy is gone now. It's funny, but when I see this, I don't feel so afraid. Like I'm seeing a place where, where I can find peace at last. Will you help me get there? Sure, we're gonna go to the hub. Okay, now she's here. A lot of a lot of people staring at walls in this game. Give me the ID card, please. I'm not judging you. Give me give me card. Now I can convince Trilby, I guess. I feel like just getting the card from her body would have been sufficient. Well, it's the ruins. It's it's burned to the ground. All right. Hey Trilby, how's your how's your staring? I guess you're not staring at a wall. You're staring at a tube. Take a look at this lady. Who is this? Samantha Hardy? You know, your mom? I guess? 
Hardy. There's something about her face. Could I meet her? She's dead. Hardy. Dead. I... Oh, Jesus. It wasn't me. It used my hands, but it wasn't me. I... So sorry, Philip. You didn't... You didn't deserve... Why are you doing this to us? Calm down. You're freaking out. I apologize. Some memories returned with a suddenness that caught me off guard. I'll be the cool cat burglar again now. Nothing that answers why I'm in this facility, however. Listen, I need your help. There's a door that needs two people to open it. I think that behind it, we can both find the answers we seek. That seems as good a place to start as any. Alright, let's go to the door. Ooh, it took us to the door, even. I'm back. Good, let's... Uh... Yeah, oh yeah, by the way... Wait a second. What on earth's the matter? It's him! Oh god, I'm so frightened. Wait a second. Trilby is the one you're so scared of? Not, you know, the tall man? Madam, I don't even know who you are. He's got a point with his facts and logic. Don't know why I'm so scared. But I just look at him and I feel like I'm going to faint. Many, many ladies have said this to Trilby. He's not with the Order anymore. He's lost his memories. He won't hurt us. I promise. We need him if we're going to open the store. And once it's open, we'll be able to get into the hub. Yes, the hub. Oh, okay. Let's get these wheels turned, everybody. Could you just... Could you stand between me and him? Sure. Why isn't it working? It worked last time. Oh. Oh boy. Thought we were gonna thought we were gonna get through this series without changing a fuse, didn't you? Here's the fuse theme now playing. Okay, and you know it's gonna be stupid. Which direction, please? Okay, walk left. Oh, third door from the left. Or no, we actually show up on the left. We're good. Into the offices once more. You know, to change a fuse. I'm beginning to think this walkthrough isn't particularly great. Uh, was it? Okay, this was the carry. At least it's close by. No, you're not the security room. Sorry, buddy. I should have just, like, written down the order here or something. Med bay. No, box room, don't need to go here. Wrong door. Wrong door. Open door. Alright, let's take a look at the old fuse box. I guess. Fuse box. Okay, we got a burnt fuse. Ooh, did we do anything? No. Um. 
Oh, sorry. I, I'm just now noticing. Right-click examine. We've been able to look at our stuff this whole time. Okay, see? There we go. Magnifying lens. Thick stack of useless accounting reports. I'm not even sure why I picked it up. I picked it up well in advance of needing it. But wait! A staple? And it's an industrial staple, so you know it'll work. Stop doing this. Gamers, please. I hope that that 33 Ways to Die sequel has has one of the deaths be putting a staple in a fuse box. What do you mean it won't work? What more do I have to do? Oh, did it get closed? When I tried to, oh when I tried to use it again it closed it okay there we go you don't need to do this it's just this is nothing this enhances the mood in no way like it's cool your game is a narrative game more than it's a puzzle game and that's fine that's valid. That's great. It doesn't have to be about silly puzzles. If you can't come up with a good puzzle, you don't have to include it. Oh, where'd uh, Janine go? Oh. Well, okay. She was... Probably dead, honestly. Actually, don't... Be careful when you go... Oh. Um. The doorman. The Trilbies. One of them tells the truth, and one of them always lies. Who won pass through here? Yes. Why didn't you stop her? Our task is only to stand here. Not to mind or who goes in or out. Are these clones? What? Are these clones of me? It, yeah, I think so. Am I a clone? Yes. Ah. I did consider it as one of the likelier possibilities. Explains pretty much everything. Shall we continue? Uh, sure. The dress is important, actually, to the story, ironically, but... It should really be... It shouldn't be this specific outfit is the thing. Just some ancient ruins. Let's go. Come on. But, I don't know. It's like what Janine talked about. A completely irrational fear. What do you three trilbies think? Okay, let's do this. Hey. We're here. Mr. DeCobb. Janine? What? What's going on? Where am I? Theo? Are we in the hub? I think so. This isn't the ruin I saw. I know this place. John Defoe. This is where he lives. How do you know? Because this is where I destroyed him. Or I thought I destroyed him. Where I tied his spirit to his bones and set him ablaze. But that was just a movie. No, it... look out! Sorry, Trilby. Oh, hey! Our old friends. What? Ah. Well, there we go. We just leave. You understand, Theodore de Ka. No, no, I don't understand. I don't understand why I'm being put through this nightmare. I don't understand the things I'm seeing. And I don't understand why you can't give me a simple straight answer. If straight answers are what you require, then I will accommodate you. Does anybody who hasn't played this series have any idea who the hell this guy is? Does not, however, physically exist. It is a construct of John Defoe's mind, a manifestation. So why the hell is it here? 
When John Defoe died, his mind and body went into his house. Uh, he showed up at the end of seven days. When Trilby burnt it down 200 years ago, he assumed that both were destroyed. Or sorry, of notes, not seven days. But the infection of Defoe's mind clung to the ruins and to the very land on which it stood, even while his body burned away. The Order of Blessed Agnes built this facility around it. Measures had to be taken, however, to ensure that the infection would not spread. What measures? Let me reiterate what the cultist asked you. Why was Samantha Hardy employed to clone Trilby, of all people, multiple times? I haven't got a clue. Clues you've had plenty of. Think, Dakov. Why Trilby? A little column A, a little column B. His his body is in the house remains, I guess, and his soul is kind of in the in the idol. All right, why? John Defoe is scared of him. Why do you say that? Back there in the manor, as soon as Trilby was removed, everything started going berserk. Indeed. For a wraith, being crammed back inside your rotting bones is a traumatic and painful experience. Then To then be shot down and set alight, unable to die, to feel the constant agony of body and mind reduced to ash. Until then, Defoe feared only his father. Afterwards, Trilby was in his mind, the embodiment of pain. And his mere presence acts as a ward against Defoe. Trilby was, from then on, utterly immune to Defoe's corrosive influence, although he never realized it. And only with a constant presence of Trilby throughout the complex could the evil of Defoe's mind be restrained within the hub. But the tall, thin man, the one with the coat, he's the head of the Order, right? Correct. Why does he keep killing the Trilbys? That I do not know. But I do know that the more of them that die, the further Defoe bleeds into the surrounding complex. You may not have long. What will happen? Defoe is a creature of monstrous violence. Samantha Hardy's fate, I fear, was only the beginning. God, is Janine all right? Perhaps you should find out. Janine! No, not again. Ah, beans. Janine, open the door. Janine, please. Please open the door. Janine, for God's sake, open the damn door. That's good. I'm glad he can't go in here. For reasons unknown. I get, they got Trilby's coat in that safe, I guess. Well, no, that's the welder. I got nothing, then. Oh, I remember going into the hub. I was waiting for you outside the door. Then I was nothing. Yeah, this is the bit. And the next thing I knew, I was in that room in front of you. I'm scared out of my mind. Because there's something trying to take me over. Look at me, okay? Nothing's going to take you over. Not going to let that happen. I can feel it all around me. Watching, whispering in my ear all the time. Janine, just hold me. And now they're embracing, and now they're kissing. Something tells me not to. I ignore it. Yeah, the text here is really bad, actually. I'm going to stop reading this out loud. But there's some, like, silhouettes of vaguely sexy poses. Not really. But, long story short, these two are boning down right now. Evil ravaging outside our door, we comfort each other. And then there's a little pixel booby. 
Through love and pain, we bond. By the sixth day, we would be dead. Day four. So... Damn, get him. So very specifically, because of that scene, and the old Let's Play, everybody's like, hey, what the fuck, Yahtzee, actually? What was this? But Yahtzee was posting in that thread, and so he does respond. Oh, also, I guess we're... Somebody's dead. Okay, we're fine. But, uh... He does actually specifically say he's come to develop a weird aversion to sex. It's possible I have some hang-ups from things in my past, but these days I'm pretty much celibate. I don't think it's immoral or anything, I just find it a bit gross. So the the ace the ace Yahtzee theory probably has some ground, but let's not spend too much time speculating on this random dude's sexuality here. Uh, he does say the sex scene was intended to be grotesque. It's about characters succumbing to being animalistic as they lose their grip on reality. Etc. Etc. But I understand that most people don't see sex the same way I do, so the intention might have been lost. I defend the concept, but not so much the execution. And then he comes up with an alternative for what he would have done today, and it's actually a lot worse, so... It's just not a good scene. And it's not great. It ain't so good. But we're done with that. We've... We've passed the... The point. The point of no return. We have to see this through now. Which of these eight bunks do you think they used? All right, we're getting out of here. Damn, all eight. Okay. Um. What was that noise? That one's better. Is this one then? Y'all really should have kept the, the science visible. Anyways, Canning is dead now, too. She's she's fine, probably. I, I genuinely forget at this point whether or not she dies. I remember Hardy dying. I remember this guy dying. Given, given the people Yahtzee lets live, it's probably not looking great for her. But I can't say with a straight face. I can't say with any certainty. Also, we don't even know how to open this door, so all we can do is check out the cool... Excuse me, the cool blood. Ah. Uh, let's go in here, I hope. Let me just make this... There we go, we got the good theme going now. What's going on in those two rooms? Oh, no, I just want to use. Hey! We're here. So is Janine. Oh, okay, we're... yeah, this is our, our reality bleeding in a little bit here. Or I guess Defoe's reality. Uh-oh, is this gonna... can I make this in time? Yes, great. This seems dicey. Alright, she's pretty chill. Um...
Oh, okay, I just gotta go way down, huh? I probably should have gone. Eh, let's just die and see what happens. Oh. Oh, okay. That's weird. You don't die in this game, I guess. We're we're still very much in danger. If you die in real life, you actually just die in a dream. All right, third door from the right. That would that looks like our door. Oh, come on. Oh, that... That was some, like, Hugo's House of Horrors collision detection there for me to have gotten in that door and not been... woken up. Alright, one pickaxe, please. When I touch it, pins and needles run up my arm. When I pick it up, it doesn't seem to have any weight at all. See if I can just oops. Yeah. Actually, this is the next door down. I can I can make great time going this way. God dang it. Stop with the blood stain. Oh, okay, she's just really bad at chasing. This one. No, it's the security room, right? No. I don't know. Well, one of these doors is the right door. It's the next door. So did she touch... Well, the idol's in space, so she couldn't have touched the idol, which is generally what makes people put on welding masks and murder people. Theo also has, like, again, no idea about what happened in this manner. Use hole. Use hands on hole. No, I just said pickaxe. The hole seems to recognize the pickaxe. Yeah. What? Oh. Okay. Oh. Hey, the old it hurts. This, I don't think this game communicates what the player needs to do all that well. So, the, using the pickaxe seems to scare her off, but we have to let her get close. Ooh. Okay, confirmed. That's what happens to Janine. That's all, folks. Day five. Here we go. Now, now we're gonna tie up some of these loose ends. This, of course, is our resident celebrity. Mephistopheles Killer? Yes, you'll remember it was all over the news. I don't think they really give tours of these places like this. Last year, the EFS bleh, relaunched with the skeleton crew of six. The appointed ship's counselor was one Dr. Jonathan Somerset. And he reported for duty punctually and on schedule. Unfortunately, shortly after the launch, it was discovered that the real Dr. Jonathan Somerset was dead. Pushed down a flight of stairs, presumably by the imposter who had taken his place. Offworld security was dispatched to intercept the Mephistopheles. 
His last recorded communication was an SOS distress call to the EFS Charisma. By the time Offworld Security arrived, this man had slaughtered the entire crew. So who is he? His name is Malcolm Somerset, the only son of Dr. Jonathan Somerset. He was a student of psychology at Ganymede University, wanting to follow in his father's footsteps. But he failed the final examination and dropped out. It seems becoming a shipboard counselor was his dream, and when his father was called up, he couldn't hold in his jealousy. So why did he kill the Mephistopheles crew? That's partly why he remains under psychiatric study, in this very helpful padded cell. His profile is completely inconsistent with a spree killer. The best theory we have is that he was found out and killed out of, and killed out of desperation. But that certainly doesn't explain the demented creativity, the sheer bloodthirsty relish with which his crewmates were slaughtered. One man was impaled, another was blinded, the first officer had her head twisted right around. Many of the corpses were dismembered and stitched randomly together into Frankenstein-like monstrosities. Certainly not the actions of a man simply trying to cover up for a far less serious crime. But let's leave him for the moment and move on. Alright, finally, we get to play as this guy again. We're, we're finally going to see how these games really connect, which is... To be fair, no small ask, but I guess that's what happens when you make the mistake of saying your sequel hundreds and hundreds of years in the future. And then decide, hey, wouldn't it be cool if this all was interconnected? We got a hatch. There's our buddy. You. I was beginning to think you'd gone forever. This shall be our last meeting. You'll get me out of here, right? You owe me at least that. What makes you think I owe you anything? You're the one who made me kill my father. I only encourage you to do what you already intended. You promised me I wouldn't get caught. He wouldn't have been caught. The mist I really struggle saying that name. Had they left the locker alone? You knew about that? Did you know about John Defoe? Was it all part of some plan? I did not scheme it. But I did know it would come to pass. All I did was encourage events to take place as I had seen. You know they think I did it. All that sense of murder. I've been locked up here for six months. I don't care about you or any of your bullshit. You just get me out of here and you'll never hear from me again, I swear. Very much doubt that. But rest assured, I am here to release you. Thank you. What do I have to do? Just use the key and leave by the door. Maybe you haven't noticed, but the lock is on the outside? Besides, the guards outside will... I'm not talking about that door. What are you talking about? What door? What key? Who are you? Present. Someone sent me a parcel with no return address. Present. No, oh, sorry. Right click to exam. We're breaking out this feature again. It contains some kind of oddly shaped knife. By the feel of it, it's old enough to be an antique. The keyblade. The keyblade, everybody. <laughs>
Wall. Love it when a new hot spot appears. Just part of the wall, but it feels different now. When I look at it, my hands start to tremble. Blade. No? Yes? Use wall. Ah, okay. Well, we should have tried that sometime in the past six months. Behind the pass, there's a door made out of flesh. Oh, well. The flesh door. Didn't want to click talk. We were the man in red this whole time. How's Trilby doing? Like the corpse of an old man in the remnants of a suit tied up with strands of muscle and skin. Ooh, a pit. Hold up. Extremely deep pit opening out into an abyss of total blackness. He does say in the Let's Play that, like, after he did Trilby's notes, he was like... He made Trilby's notes as, like, I want this to be a game where people, like, discuss what it's all about afterwards. I want there to be mysteries. But then he made Trilby's notes. He was like, man, that was hard. It's like, ah, shit, I gotta, like, wrap this up then, huh? So that was his, that was his motivation for this. It was just like... I gotta, I gotta give the people an ending. I have some water and sit up. This, this is a good place to take a quick rest. Oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to talk to Trilby. Who are you? You ask a complex question. A name by which I know myself is Trilby. 
but I strongly suspect that I am not the original. I am probably a clone, given over to Chizou as a plaything. Or perhaps that is my arrogance talking. Perhaps I simply cannot bear the thought that the real me would ever be imprisoned like this. What is this place? I knew you'd ask that. No one who knew what this place was would ever come here voluntarily. You're inside the body of Chizou. How did I get here? This is not my beautiful house. On Earth? In the universe of technology? Then I can't explain it. There's no possible way to get from there to here. Not corporeally, anyway. It... it... it turned into a wall of flesh. Who's Chizou? A more appropriate question would be, what is Chizou? Or even where is Chizou? Since it seems he is a place as well as a fiend. But to answer you, Chizou is a pain elemental. There were once many of his kind in the universe of magic, small and largely harmless creatures that fed on the petty anguishes of others. But over time, they became more and more reliant on magic until their actual physical bodies were all but completely vestigial. They fought for more power by killing and absorbing each other. Hizo is the very last of his kind. A bloated mountain of gristle whose very essence crackles with residual magic. And now, nothing but the most hellish torments will sate his hunger. He is the closest thing to a god of pain. You're the one who sent the idol into space. Possibly. Certainly I have memories of doing so. And you must be the man who found him. How could you know that? After the hotel, Trilby spent many years researching Chizo. He requested a vision of the idol's future from the Ministry of Occultism. Did he? He was well respected by then and his request was granted. Whether I am the original or not, I do possess the memories of that vision. I saw you. I saw what Defoe did to you. I saw what you became. And I realized that I'd seen you before somewhere. But never mind. You want to redeem yourself, don't you? More than anything. And all you have to do is follow my instructions. What do you want me to do? I want you to kill me. And don't pretend you're a stranger to killing me. You have Freehorn's Blade. It's infused with Shizou's magic. It's the only thing that can release this hold on me. I want you to drive it into my heart. The nature of the blade will infuse you with energy. Call it my soul, my life force, we don't have a proper name for it. I want you to give it to the one who needs it. Who? You'll find him nearby. He isn't physically here, but Chizo is observing him, and so he manifests. My life force will still save him, wherever his actual body is. I'm gonna bust you out of here! No. Even if you could, I have no place to go. To the pain elemental, time is non-linear. It sees the past, present, and future all at once. Were I to leave this place, I could end up at any moment in time. Or every moment. Or no moment at all. It's the reason why you and I are able to interact like this. Despite, from my perspective, being in the 21st century. And you in the 24th. Now kill me. Both our destinies demand it. Alright, hang on tight. Don't leave me.
Alright, ye old Freehorn's Blade. I'm sorry. None of it was your fault. Remember that. Hey, it's me. Well, me isn't Trilby. Energy. It's Trilby's soul. I can feel it crawling around inside me, looking for a way out. His soul has a little fedora. And there we go. Now the ending to Trilby's notes makes perfect sense. So you felt that, did you? I think I should get out of here. It's just trying to be cool. And, I don't know, in 2007, when I was young enough, it, it worked. I thought this was cool as hell, because I didn't quite understand what the hell was going on. Like that guy. Yep, I'd say he's dead. Damn it. We're gonna catch hell for this, aren't we? Why'd he have to cut his own throat out? Why don't he just taunt himself with his pajamas like most of them do? This sanitarium system is working great. It's like he knew we'd have to clean up the mess. Personally, I'm more worried about how he got hold of a knife. You and I both know if a freak really wants to kill himself, there's very little we can do to stop him. Good lord. Good lord. You have got a little brother who just joined the Navy Medical Corps. Same age as that poor doctor on the Mephistopheles was. I can assure you right now, that's not how Dr. Laszlo will see it. Come on then, let's fetch a body bag. Blackness swallows me, the furious roar of Chizo fades from hearing. Free of that place. Free of physical form. The ebb and flow of time flutters against what passes for my body. Caressing me like a lover. When I was a man, I was Destiny's prisoner. Now I will be her servant. There are men and women who must be guided. I will be the caretaker. Day 6. July 28th. How's our boy doing? You could not have saved her, Dacab. But there's still enough time to save yourself. What happened to her? Her weakened defenses allowed John Defoe to crush her personality. And loving her- oh, I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I forgot about that part, sorry, that sucks. This guy. Anywho, as for our future. Well, our soul is also blemished, I guess. Help me out here, please. You can find the way out in the basement of Defoe Manor. If you wish to escape, go there. You expect me to go down to that madhouse? What about John Defoe? Enough clones of Trilby remain to provide an escort. They will buy you the time you need to break through Defoe's defenses. He must combat the corrosive influence of his mind on equal footing. Know him. Become him. Defeat him. We shall not meet again. I wish you luck. Can you at least tell me who you are? Once I was a man. John Defoe destroyed all I had. But a gift gave me the power to see the destiny of all mankind. While simultaneously enslaving me to it. 
You and I, Dekab, are pawns in a game too vast and complex to understand. But a pawn that crosses the board becomes a king. Well, not usually, no. Or at the very least, a prince. <laughs> Delivers a clumsy metaphor, teleports away, never to be seen again. Six. We're on day six. One more pamphlet for the road. There we go. Freehorn's Blade is one of the Order's most sacred relics. It is said to have been used by the 18th century prophet Jack Freehorn himself to deliver the 12 sacrifices that enabled him to write the books of Jizo. When a person dies, their body, mind, and soul separate and drift apart. An individual killed by Freehorn's Blade, however, separates differently. They leave their body behind while the mind and soul remain together. This results in a non-corporeal spirit of unusual ability, capable of strong manifestations, but they remain forever under the command of the one who wielded the blade. An individual can exploit a loophole in these rules by killing themselves with Freehorn's blade, which would theoretically transform them into an immensely powerful spirit, a magic-infused force of pure will. Man, if this is Elden Ring lore, you are not selling me on Elden Ring. None, however, have yet chanced this. But they will. Sorry, did my, my eyes rearrange in the inventory? Weren't choir eyes at the end. Faster this way. We're at the, the finale. There is very little left. We're just gonna... You know, get the exit. Hello, boys. Wanna join me? I don't know why they listen to you. I mean, we don't know. When any of us fall, another comes here to take our place. So if you die, I can come back here and there'll be more of you? Until there are no more. Personally, I'm in no hurry to die. Up luck, follow me. Get in line. One machete, please. I don't know why it's in the gun rack, but sure. Also, rip to Trilby. You were a real one, I guess. to go in here. Sorry, Trilby. Rip to a real one, I guess. Let's get some more Trilbys. <laughs> it just cuts right to it, huh? Okay. Let's climb these accursed stairs one more time. Welling mask. Anyway, yeah, yeah, rip to a real one.
pretty much? Not quite. It's a, it's a yes and no. Let's actually see what happens, because we can die here if we run out of Krillbees. This is... Burn off a few. I don't know if this really counts as a puzzle. It kinda does. If you're not watching your Trilby count. Can I look at like any of this night? They won't even let me look at the painting. Is it just down for me? Ah, okay. Oh dang, it actually takes you all the way back here for that? No thank you. Which one do we got? Okay, we got the machete, we got the mask, we got a fresh batch of trilbies. Come along, boys! They, that's the clothes they got for them. I was supposed to stay upstairs. I gotta make them comfortable. This bathroom door seems very tiny. Ah, okay, the apron was being hung up to dry. The stairs continue. Alright. More trilbies, please. There are infinite trilbies, by the way. There's nothing in the game that actually makes you run out. It's just, you know. Oh, look, we assembled the whole outfit. It hurts. We can't call the police either. Now I'm the welder. Didn't really get it to look at that particularly much. Now we get our retread of the demon child text. Well, it turns out the man in red, Malcolm, isn't really somebody you should listen to, actually. The floating man that killed the guide. Please. It hurts. The foe. Oh, man. You were the last one? I think so. The others all went in the house. So Trilby can have a happy ending, I guess. Does this mean anything to you? Does that spark any memories? I think the others were killed. When I think that, images start to flash before my eyes. Defoe Manor being here feels wrong. I think it's supposed to have been destroyed. In what way destroyed? Fire. It's supposed to have been burnt down. 
Perhaps you should address this inconsistency. Yes. How? I can show you where to get some petrol. How's the darkness doing? Ooh, the darkness is moving. Hey! Not really happening. What are you doing with your little... Your little setup here? Children of the King, rejoice! The time is finally at hand. Our patience these last few centuries will finally be rewarded. Two hundred years ago, the body of the bridgekeeper was destroyed. Two hundred years from now, the soul of the bridgekeeper will meet the same fate. These are known as bridge events. Their significance was so great that they sent ripples of weakness through the timeline itself, echoing off into both past and future. On the 28th of July, 2189, the ripples from the past will collide with the ripples from the future, creating an area of extreme weakness between the two realms. If the third bridge event, the destruction of the mind, occurs at this point, the force of the explosion will penetrate that area of weakness and form the bridge between the realms. Over this bridge, the king, Chizo, will come. He will come to save us and all the men of technology from sin. We must, however, be alive to enjoy this new age of perfect purity, and so it is important that the complex and ophthalmology building be evacuated at least one week prior to the bridge events. Uh, the, the cursed wood that got made into the idol ended up getting a piece of Defoe's soul embedded into it when, when he was killed with it. That's why, that's how this all connects. Yeah, the evil wood. Oh. Oh no. It's a bomb! There's enough nano-explosive here to atomize the county. Nothing for it. I've got to try and dis- wait a second. The bomb's already been defused. Oh, that's good. Time to go. Shit. Thanks a lot, Trilby. No. No! Six days later, also as a sacrifice. Watching UCBC News, investigation continues into the circumstances that resulted in a nano-explosive detonation in the county of Buckinghamshire six days ago. The blast completely demolished the ophthalmology building, which had been purposely evacuated beforehand, and several lead ophthalmologists are being held for questioning. Although the detonation has not yet been found to have caused any loss of life, two individuals last seen in the area have been reported missing. And environmentalists are already calling this the biggest ecological disaster in the entire history of the country. The investigation continues.
As an avatar of destiny, I cannot judge. I cannot afford to question events, only encourage them to take place as history demands. And yet, I wonder. I wonder why the Order of Blessed Agonies expected Chizou to enter this universe. After all, a creature so dependent on magic could not possibly survive in a world where there is none. The prophecies were wrong. Freehorn, the Order, the Tall Man himself, all deliberately misled by the Pain Elemental. But why? For what purpose was the bridge really constructed? It was open for mere seconds. Nothing came through from the Ethereal Realm. So did Chizou's plan simply fail? Or was his intention not to send, but to receive? None of this matters. I led the cob to the destiny demanded of him by the timeline. Now I must wait. Two centuries from now, my younger self will require my guidance. The eternal cycle must be set in motion again. And while I do not judge and feel no regret, I find that I do not relish this task. Is a bit of a fatalist, apparently. In the 18th century, the prophet Jack Freehorn put to paper the three books of Chizou, the blood of the twelve sacrifices still fresh on his hands. The Book of the Prince, the Book of Victims, and the Book of the Bridge. This is a central tenet in the faith of the Order of Blessed Agonies. What is not known, not even by the highest acolytes, and likely not even by the prince himself, is that there was a fourth book. It seemed to contradict the other prophecies, and Freehorn discarded the draft, thinking it a garbled message. This was the book of the new prince. Here is what it said. On the day of the bridge, the prince returned to the court of the king and bowed low before the presence. And the king was greatly wrathful. And he said to the prince, Why have you returned, O prince? You who would betray his king? who would defy his own flesh? And with those words, the king threw down the prince and stripped away his vestments, and the prince once again became the arrogant man. And the arrogant man said, I wanted only to please you, my king. I know you schemed to replace me. If I betrayed you, it was only to remain your prince. And the king replied, I have not forgotten that you are the arrogant man, and still your arrogance blinds you. Who are you to question my plans, you little man of linear time? That's a good line, remember that. Who are you to believe he knows what is best for I, I who has drunk down the agonies of a million men, I who has seen, the, seen to the edge of forever? You are not my prince, O oh arrogant man. You are never truly of my flesh. And the king took the vestments of the prince and gave them to the man of purity, and the man of purity became the new prince. And the arrogant man wept aloud. Why have you betrayed me, my king? What have I done that I should earn this wrath? Came the reply. Long ago, you were offered the chance to fulfill the role of the bridge as a being of both magic and technology. You could have proven your commitment to your king. You could have chosen your successor. But in your arrogance, you resisted and created the child to become the bridge in your stead. And after you learned the true purpose of the bridge, you had the audacity to subvert my will. 
Weakly, you sought to avert your destiny and the destiny of others. But rejoice, arrogant man, for I have provided another opportunity to fight your fate. Simply defeat your successor and return to my side. The new prince faced the arrogant man. And the new prince threw down the arrogant man. My king. It hurts. Hey, Trilby. The guy. It hurts. This place. man knew the name of the king. The end. <laughs> okay, correct. <laughs> That's the correct response. If I remember correctly, it's basically supposed to be that Defoe was supposed to become the new prince, but the former, the arrogant man, formerly known as Prince, was kind of like, hey, I don't want that to happen. More people need to credit the web hosts. And so all this went down instead. Three trilbies, no. PC Gamer UK. Did Trilby do all these drawings? Thanks to the something awful goons. God, I I would install Fortnite today if you could fucking play as Trilby in him, in him, in it. The end. Well, he's, he's got quite a way with art. He's not using MS Paint for these. And that's, that's the series. They're fun. They're... Like, a decade and a half-ish old now, and I think that kind of shows at this point. But this, this series was like was indeed cool to me as a late teen. But going back to them today, the nostalgia's still there. It's fun in that regards, but oh boy, when you when you play these games for people to watch, there's a couple of moments that make you question whether or not that was the best the best plan. Yeah, it was it was cool to a lot of teens. I forget, Yahtzee says how old he was, like, in that thread. Like, I think he was, like, making these when he was, like, 20 or something. It's... I don't know. Fun game. Trilby's Notes is still probably the most exciting of them. The first game is honestly pretty solid. It stands well on its own. Seven Days is kind of a hot mess. This is a hot mess in the sense that it tries to connect everything, and it does that by just 
lumping in just a whole bunch of random stuff to be like, ah, okay, there you go. But they were successful enough for a reason, at least. It kind of sucks that Yahtzee continued to suck. But yeah, this is definitely a more interesting one. Like, I, I think it goes notes five days, six days, seven days for me. But, eh. If you wanted to play these for yourself, sure, go for it. I ain't gonna stop you. But expect a real slump for seven days. Next, and honestly, the last time I replayed the whole series was in like 2020, maybe. And I remember at the end being like, huh, six days was better than I remembered. And I was kind of hoping that would be the case now. But now, no, not really. The puzzles aren't very good. The story is just introducing all kinds of stuff that, like, doesn't really matter for the purposes of the game. It just, it wants to... The game is just writing its own Wikipedia page, essentially, its own little wiki. But I had fun playing it still overall, but eh. There are there are better indie indie games you could be playing if you want a, a good spooky time in 2023 than than these. But if you got the nostalgia, I think they are fun to revisit. But it comes with a, a number of asterisks, and I feel like each time I replay these games, I, I find some more things that I realize, oh, that's not great. Anyway, it's three o'clock now, and I am hungry. I did not eat lunch yet. I'm starving, so I'm getting out of here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, I usually do streams of ZZT, obviously, well, with the worlds of ZZT and such. Next one of those will be Friday at noon, same time that this one started, and more Sunday at noon. And that's about all I got. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time. Hope to do some more fun streams like this but that hopefully don't have to have so many disclaimers attached in the future. Thanks for watching. See ya.